Next, we're going to do a, we're going to create a concoction to help boost your immune system. So this concoction is specifically for anyone who might feel a tickle in your throat or you wake up feeling a little bit of a sore throat. You know, increased anxiety and stress. We know that stress and anxiety reduces um, our immune system, brings our immune system down. So if you do feel that tickle or you wake up with a sore throat, you can do you can create this little concoction we're gonna make here today using items straight from our kitchen cupboard to provide an antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory effect in the body. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use honey and turmeric. It's very simple. So today I'm using um, very simple no-name honey. Rachel's using a really nice honey from, what's the name of the company? So this is honey from the farmer's market that I get from Beverly Bees. I love this honey. Perfect. That's so great. I do recommend getting local honey. Local honey is sourced by local bees, which comes from your local pollen. So I do recommend local honey. If you can't, not a problem. I'm using no name honey from the grocery store. So we're gonna use honey, we're gonna use turmeric. So again, I'm using turmeric straight up from the grocery store. I put it in a bag. Turmeric will stain anything. Rachel has a much nicer bottle of turmeric there. <laughs> Whole Foods. Just simple nice. foods, simple organic. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and you need a spoon and you'll need somewhere to, um, here's the thing is turmeric will stain anything it touches, anything it comes into contact with. So you want, when we're making this concoction, you just wanna be mindful that you're not, nothing is dropping because if it drops anywhere, it's gonna stain it, okay? You wanna be mindful of that. So I have a little paper towel I'm gonna to put underneath as I make this concoction for us here today. And I'm just gonna get uh, about a spoon of honey on my, on my spoon here, okay? And then I'm using a butter knife to pull out just an eighth teaspoon of turmeric, very small amount of turmeric. Turmeric's very bitter and you don't need much. It's also potent, so you don't need a lot of turmeric. So I have here about an eighth teaspoon of turmeric, which you can sort of see, and my spoon of honey. So I'm literally going to take my turmeric and mix it into my honey. As I said, just remember that this is very, um, if it spills, which mine is spilling a little bit on my paper towel, it will stain. Or you could put it into a little bowl as well too. Yeah, you could put it in a little bowl and mix it in a bowl. That's true too. I'm just mixing it together. This looks delicious. And delicious. Yeah, it's very tasty. And kids love it. But I, so again, I would highly want to let you know that you should not give honey to kids under the age of one. They don't have the digestive system to manage um, toxins that might be in the honey, like botulinum toxin. And as you get older, we have the digestive system be able to manage that. No honey, just the bottom line is no honey to kids under one. Okay, so now your honey turmeric is gonna look a little bit darker, right? It looks a little bit orange. So now that you've created this, you can go ahead and, and eat it. Literally, you can kind of suck on it. So the honey has an antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal effect. The turmeric, again, antimicrobial um, and anti-inflammatory. So when you're eating the honey and you're sucking on it, you're letting, let's just allowing it to sit on the membranes that might be sore, inflamed, maybe a bit of a tickle. Um, honey is also known to be a good cough su suppressant. So that's another use you can use it for. If you are someone, so another caution, if you are someone who deals with acid reflux quite a bit, this might, I mean, there's a chance this could exacerbate it, right? And so if that is the case, I would recommend doing this therapy with a variation. So you would add milk. You would either add a cup of dairy or non-dairy milk, put the turmeric into it. So one eighth teaspoon of turmeric, 
to one cup of milk, boil the milk if it's dairy. There's no need to boil it if it's not, if it's non-dairy milk. Once it's been boiled, then you can, or warmed up if it's non-dairy, you can add some honey and go ahead and drink that. It's a fabulous, uh, very soothing uh, treatment. And you might've heard it, it's, it's uh, I think it's commonly termed, people call it golden milk, because mm -hmm. it's literally like yellow, orange milk. That's right. It's very good for you. Okay. I think that's different as well too about the honey with the milk, right? Versus the just without the milk, because one is more systemic. Mm-hmm. So when you add the milk, you're literally adding a fat source to the turmeric. So turmeric um, will be delivered to the tissues through the fat. So by adding the fat source of milk, or you could literally add even oil, the turmeric goes into our tissues. So it becomes more of a systemic treatment as opposed to a topical on your, on your membranes treatment. Okay. So even if you're not dealing with acid reflux, you could absolutely do the milk, turmeric and honey to provide healing for the entire body. So the anti-inflammation, antimicrobial effect for the entire body. So anxiety is a fear response to our thoughts as we distinguished earlier. So what if we chose different thoughts, consciously chose different thoughts? We wanna leave you with a mantra today. Now you might already have one that you use or you can choose one today, but I want you, we wanna get you present to a mantra. So we're gonna give you a few examples that you can use. Now you can repeat this mantra anytime you notice you're engaged in non-productive thinking, scattered thinking, or thoughts that don't really add any value to your life. Here's a few examples. Okay, pick one or choose one, create one that works for you. One is I am enough. I am perfectly imperfect. The sun is always shining on me. I am so loved. I am safe. I am grounded. I am loved. I choose to be happy. I have everything I need. I am open to the gifts of the universe. Do one of those resonate with you or does something else pop up for you? Choose a mantra. You know, even some, so a mantra can be sounds, literally sounds, or it can be full phrases, but it's something that we want to have be empowering for you. So you can pick it up anytime that you notice that your thoughts are kind of going out of control, right? We want to give you something that you can grab onto when you're sort of in that storm. It's kind of like a, you know, something just to hold onto, like a raft. Mantras can be like that. Mantras can be rafts, lifeboats. So pick one, put it on a post-it note, write it on your bathroom mirror, put it in your car, put it in all those places where you would forget, you know, where you're apt to forget. So you don't ever forget. So write it down, put it in a place you can see it, we encourage you to pick a mantra. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you for your listening. I'll leave you with this thought. Slowing down, understanding self and taking care of ourselves is the most loving thing you can do for the world. When you are cared for and you are loved, the world is a loving place. You create love in the world by loving yourself and honoring yourself. Again, thank you for being here with us today.